हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो आई एम नीलेष सिंह ऑफ फैकल्टी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लखनऊ गोइंग टू प्रजेंट माई सेमिनार टॉपिक ऑन रिएक्टिव पाउडर कॉन्क्रीट नाउ लेट स्विच टू द कंटेंट पार्ट इन द कंटेंट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन कंपोजिशन ऑफ रिएक्टिव पाउडर कॉन्क्रीट एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ रिएक्टिव पाउडर कॉन्क्रीट एंड इट्स अप्लीकेशन and properties of reactive powder concrete and then i will discuss about the case study which i have done on panghai tibet railway and shear brook pedestrian bridge in canada and then i will come to conclusion and then i will discuss about the reference part now let's switch to the introduction part rpc was first developed by p richard and m sazi rpc was first produced in early 90s at the laboratory in france world's first rpc structure was shear brook pedestrian bridge and it was constructed in july 1997 rpc is an ultra high strength and high ductility cementitious composite with advanced mechanical and physical properties rpc has been used successfully for the isolation of containment of nuclear wastes in europe due to its excellent impermeability now the question arises what is reactive powder concrete rpc is an ultra high strength and high ductility cementitious composite with advanced mechanical and chemical properties there are concrete that leads the way to the achievement of maximum compressive strength of the order 120 to 150 megapascal in order to increase the compressive strength of concrete even further the only way is to remove the coarse aggregates rpc is not just a simple mixture of cement water and aggregate quite often it contains mineral component and chemical admixture having very specific characteristic which impart specific properties of to the concrete now we will discuss about the composition of rpc the composition of rpc are as follows the first one is cement and then sand and then the quartz powder and then we use silica fumes super plasticizer steel fiber and last one is water cement their c3a content varies from 1 to 8% and their soluble alkali content is very low and is comprised between 0.16 to 0.38% silica fumes the main quality of silica fumes is in the absence of aggregates it should be clean from organic impurities as well as dust particles it should be saline in nature now super plasticizer a copolymer of acrylic ester cae and a polynaphthalene sulfonate pns and a polymelamine sulfonate pms are normally employed for the purpose the add mixture are synthetic polymer now sand the sand should be good hardness readily and low cost it should be it, it should be easily available and its particle size varies from 0.15 to 0.6 mm the type of sand generally used is crushed and natural quartz powder its particle size ranges from 0.005 mm to 0.0025 mm and it should be crystalline in nature steel fibers it should be clean having good aspect ratio and able to improve ductility its length ranges from 13 to 25 mm and should be straight now we will discuss about the objective of developing rpc the objective of developing rpc are as follows elimination of coarse aggregate for enhancement of homogeneity and the second one is utilization of pozzolanic properties of silica fumes optimal usage of super plasticizer to reduce water cement ratio and the same time improves the compaction to gain high compressive strength addition of a small sized steel fiber improve ductility now we will discuss about the properties of reactive powder concrete the properties of reactive powder concrete are as follows compressive strength 
it has higher compressive strength than normal concrete it is a factor linked with durability of material maximum compressive strength of rpc is approximately 200 megapascal now coming on to the next slide we will discuss about the flexural strength plain rpc possesses high flexural strength than nor normal regular concrete by introducing steel fiber rpc can achieve high strength the length and diameter of fiber have considerable impact on strength containment of nuclear waste it has been used for blocking and stabilization of containment of waste used for isolation and containment of nuclear waste now coming on to the next slide we will discuss about the advantages of rpc the first one is it has potential to structurally compete with steel rpc is better alternative than ordinary concrete its superior strength combined with higher shear capacity results in significant dead load reduction and limitless structural member shape rpc can be used to resist all direct primary tensile stresses improved seismic performance by reducing inertia load with lighter member low and non interconnected porosity diminishes mass transfer making penetration of liquid gas non equivalent now we will discuss about the limitation of rpc the least costly component of conventional concrete are basically eliminated or replaced by more expensive elements and the second one is the fine sand used in rpc becomes equivalent to coarse aggregate of conventional concrete applying pressure to mix and applying heat treatment in field has got technological difficulties and increased cost rpc is still in initial stages so long term properties are not known yet now i will discuss about the case study which i have done on kongai tibet railway the kongai tibet railway lies in the west china at an altitude of more than 4000 meter the 1956 km railway is being built on the frozen earth the bad climatic and sand storm of the tundra require the concrete of the bridge to have superior mechanical properties and high durability the developer people's republic of china invested 3.5 billion us dollar to complete this project in 2006 by adding portland cement silica fume superfine fly ash super plasticizer and reactive powder concrete in side way system with compressive strength of 160 megapascal the line speed of frozen section is 100 km per hour and the line speed of unfrozen section is 120 km per hour there are lot of different problem with conventional concrete side walk such as corrosion rust rust of reinforcing steel bars and breakability of concrete the steel bracket rust in conventional concrete side walk as a result a conventional concrete side walk system requires high maintenance every year dead weight of traditional side walk system is greater than that of rpc side walk system the side walk system made of rpc has such merits as a small dead weight excellent durability low cost and minimum maintenance thus rpc is more suitable for side walk system of kwangai tibet railway than conventional concrete now i will discuss about my second case study which i have done on shear brook pedestrian bridge the shear brook foot bridge lies in canada and was first structure made by using reactive powder concrete The Shear Brook foot bridge spans 197 feet, approximately 60 meter, across Magog River with a precast truss of RPC. The Shear Brook pedestrian bridge was made in July 1997, and it was the world's first major structure to be built with RPC. The Shear Brook foot bridge was designed to take an advantage of the mechanical properties of RPC. in order to obtain the minimum depth to length ratio with very high compressive strength of concrete it is possible to design relatively lightweight pre stressed structure a rock platform was constructed across 
on half of the river bed a high ductility provides greater reliability under overload condition the total cost of bridge was 425000 us dollar in 1997 the shear brook foot bridge was entirely made up of confined and unconfined rpc the shear brook pedestrian bridge was made in july 1997 it was the world first major structure to be built with rpc because of light weight of truss it has increased overall strength and higher rigidity now coming on to the conclusion part the reactive powder concrete produced by routine concrete manufacture technique has compressive strength above 160 megapascal and bending strength above 20 megapascal fine frost resistant and impermeability of chloride the side walk flat system produced by reactive powder concrete has light dead weight low cost and a littler workload which make it suitable for bridge and its subsidiary facilities on kongai tibet plateau a structural member have fine and sturdy quality and can satisfy the demand of practice production here is the list of my reference on the topic of reactive powder concrete the first one is actin pc in the topic of cement of yesterday and today concrete of tomorrow cement and concrete research in the year 2000 and the second one is bailis py and corcher m in the topic of pre cast pre stressed pedestrian bridge word first reactive powder concrete structure pci general in the year 1999 and the third one is bonu o vernet c morivili m and actin pc in the topic of characterization of granular packing and percolation threshold of reactive powder concrete cement and concrete research in the year of 2000 and the fourth one is durai c special and concrete may give steel stiff competition building concrete the settle daily journal of commerce in the year 1977 and the last one is richard p and sezi m in the topic of composition of reactive powder of concrete cement and concrete research in the year of 1995 now thank you